Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's a, it's a very, very miserable day. The weather is certainly depleted. We had a week of hot weather, sweating, sat here, shivering, not shivering, sat here, sweating, complaining, and uh, all our complaints worked, so well done everyone. Back to being crap weather, but look, there is some crazy shit going on in the world right now, and I, I, I don't know why, but I wanted to react to it and have a little look at it, but I'm sure you've seen there is a war going on, and I'm not talking about the Ukrainian war, I'm talking about in Paris. Now, as you can see, here there is a lot of cars on fire now shit's kind of got, got a bit wild I, it's kind of reminded me of like the end of the world type era you know America is on the brink of you know something happening Russia's a fucking bees nest that some people instead of prodding keep kicking it and drop kicking it repeatedly until it's going to start doing something now look at this that is a local Nike store people have been robbing uh, people have been stealing which is robbing people have been breaking damaging like look at this poor dude's car that's Pete you know you know what I mean? You didn't do anything, mate. So look, I wanted just to put on a little video, just to give you an idea. But unfortunately, police over there are a bit, bit stupid, a bit thicky, thicky. They um, shot a 17-year-old kid uh, for a parking violation or something like that. For a um, yeah, so it's throughout the whole country as well. So people are setting on fireworks, burning cars, fighting, shooting. After police shot dead a 17-year-old who failed to stop when ordered to. A statement from the police saying the police officers were feeling threatened and had to shoots but this video posting on social media had a completely different tale of the story well perfect shot look at all that chaos but if you've seen the video, I'm obviously not going to show it here because it's a little bit, uh, it's not very nice to look at. And uh, if you want to watch it, you can just go on the website and find it. Uh, they actually stopped him for some sort of parking uh, traffic law that he'd broken. So he's not done anything violent. And then the guy is holding a gun to him and apparently says, I'm, you, you're going to get a bullet in your head or something like that, he said. Which is kind of mind-boggling. I mean, France is, uh, you know, police have guns, fair enough. In the UK, we don't. We have uh, special police officers, so not any idiot can just carry them like this guy. I, I think you know that raises a wider issue, uh, but not one I care to go into. I mean, this bloke looks like an absolute idiot now, doesn't he? he, he he's got mutiny on his hands. He's got a war within his country, violence in his country. More rioting and worse in scale and spread than the night before. Cars burn. Police stations attacked. A town hall in the north set ablaze. See, it's just crazy. It's crazy. The people have spoken and they've chosen violence. And I think rightly so. You know, a poor kid shot because he was going 66 in a 64. Like, terrible. And I think all these, you know, police assassins, all these protests are, are going to have a long-term effect. And I think they're going to see it. Policeman has been charged with voluntary homicide. He's reported to have apologised to the teenagers. For oh, it's all right, lads. He said sorry. Don't worry. Oh, mate, here's your badge and your gun. Get back out there. Go on, do it. He's apologised. Fuck me. It just shows. I mean, look, the police have a lot of pressure. They're always under pressure. It's not an easy job to do. I gather that, but that's why it's so important when you hire and you train these people. You gotta, you gotta find people who are mentally competent. And some people are stronger than others. Some people are able to deal with more stress and deal with more in their day to day life that's just how life is you know people can join the army others can't the police is not the army but it's you know it's not far off imagine this a lot of police officers will have to quit they'll be like fuck this shit i was not paid for this it's following three nights of protest over police violence particularly towards minorities ah uh, so it's racism which you know is everywhere but this this shit is literally apocalypse this is you know end of the world type shit you see this happen in a film and soon you know not soon after chaos unfolds you know they've been blowing up buildings blowing up cars setting things on fire 914 people were 994 people were arrested 45,000 officers overnight were sent in armored trucks they're literally sending in the army send in the army so the funerals today it is currently 10 in the uk so it might have happened it might not have happened <coughs> well, it might be happening <coughs> i mean this is just crazy yeah so there was bands of hooded rioters pillaging shops protesters set fire to cars trash bins exactly and macron's idea is sending more people sending more guns that will teach him this all started because of someone with guns sending in more guns is not going to solve your problems pal like if this guy didn't have a gun none of this would have happened he wouldn't have been able to shoot him none of it this is the independent. They are at war. So they're literally saying 79 injured. But look, what's going on is fucking crazy. This is absolutely insane. You know, shots broken. Shots broken. 
destroyed, violent, you know, these are just, this is wrong, these are just everyday people, these are the little guys on the block, aren't they, and that, you know, I, I'm all for a bit of a, a protest, I think it's quite cool to see, I mean, look at that, fucking hell, but, you know, they're, they're, they're down at health, they're hurting the little men, the, or the little women, whatever you want to say, the little guy on the street, you know, the friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man people, they're attacking police stations, which is kind of crazy as well, but they're, they're not gonna, you know, they're, they're causing more harm than good now, because the, the little guy, the people that didn't do this are now the ones suffering who have to you know get their shops fixed you know they they probably can't get their their stock back whatever they lost but look this shit cray this shit cray let me know what you guys think but i think this is the start of the end boys i think get your tins of beans in get your tins of soup stock up on baseball bats and uh, water bottles because this shit is crazy and this is just the first place france has always been a bit of a uh, rebellious place hasn't it french revolution if you remember that one that one was a bit of a uh, and i only know about it because of assassin's creed which is the best history teacher in the world so thank you but look you guys let me know what you think because this i think this is the start of something and we're gonna see a very different next few years let me know what you think guys see you later bye bye